Hi guys and welcome to VMTV and we're here with another exclusive interview with MJ, otherwise known as Mary Binacarcus. So hey, why don't you introduce yourself? Um, I'm a music producer, I've been producing for about three years now. I, I'd like to talk about my work and the things that I do. Oh, that's wicked. So who got you into music in the first place? I think I was born with it because I remember I was young and I was already really into music so I would use my father's equipment, stereo, mixers and play with them and uh, yeah. Wow, so you started from a young age. So how did you actually start your work as a producer? I actually started as a DJ uh, at the beginning but then I realized I wanted to make my own music as well and um, focus on you know like finding my signature sound or anyway exploring the sounds in general so then I enrolled into this course and I started three years ago making music and... yeah. so tell us do you have any hobbies outside of music yes of course I do um, one of my main hobbies is dancing Ooh. and I'd like to incorporate that with the music and the DJing possibly uh, you know, it's a new idea, yeah. so you have to work a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I expect we'll be seeing some future music videos with you showing off those moves, eh? That's exactly what I want to do! <laughs> <laughs> Which digital audio workstation do you use to produce your music? So I started with Ableton Live as one of my first ones, but then um, I started using Logic Pro X as well. And I, I don't know, there are many that I think I would use for my production because they have uh, different positive, you know, like features that maybe others don't have. So you can kind of, you know, if you get that sound that you don't get from the other one, you bounce the files and then you can use them in a like different DAW and stuff like this, possibly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds cool. And uh, so, yeah, what kind of made you switch to kind of obviously uh, produce a little bit more in Logic as well because you do a little bit of Logic. Right. Uh, yes, so I think that what was important for me is to find the right sound for my music and I think Logic has the sounds already. Yes, you can, um, you know, like focus on the sound design so you can have, you know, more of a unique sound that is your own, but Logic has already some sounds that I would like to incorporate with my music. Yeah. That sounds awesome. And in terms of your unique style, we've seen you producing in the studio. Uh, would you agree that your style is somewhat house, tech, deep house? What are your some of your influences? Uh, mainly house and then I have influences coming from tech house, uh, deep house, sometimes even ambient house actually. And then I'm very interested in to find, you know, finding interesting sounds and work with them. So, but yeah, mainly I would say it's House music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> brilliant. Okay, warehouse or nightclub? Where would you rather hear your music played? I mean, it's kind of difficult to, you know, say like I prefer this rather than that, because everything can lead you somewhere. So everything is welcome. Of course, if I if I can hear my music played in like official like uh, clubs, that's a plus for me. That's an excellent point. And if you weren't a musician right now, what would you be? Absolutely no idea. Like I was born with it. I knew that I had to do this. <laughs> so it's difficult to, to say. Era. Yeah, it's difficult to say. And what are your plans? Anything in specific? Um, yes. So I would like to, you know, work um, with the record label or maybe more than one. We'll see anyway how it goes. Um, and just you know, um, just dig into the music itself, the sounds, and come up with, you know, a proper work, which includes DJing and choreographies, videos. It's like a, you know, like a full artist. If you could meet any celebrity, music producer, or artist, who would it be and why? Maybe Faithless, uh, Mark Knight, there is an influence coming from him as well because I like a lot the sounds and you know the style of music that he plays and he produces and so on. Um, so I would say yeah. If you could collaborate with any musician, 
anyone. I'm very <laughs> you, open. You I'm very open. Oh my god, that's a tough one. Because I'm very open to collaborate with different ones so that I can even explore what I could do outside the box. So, for example, if my box would be house, what could I do? outside that genre and explore and you know like become better in different genres and i think that's important for me to be versatile so so we're seeing a lot more startup music producer projects as well as music festivals what are your thoughts on the music industry at the moment imagine all of those people working on this other like events that you would say they're just a bit in the corner right now but it could become big anyway in the future so why not we want more of that and um, yeah, I hope I can play in these places and the big ones, the small ones, it doesn't matter as long as, you know, it's music. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. Just a little cheeky question. If you could date any celebrity or artist, who would you date and why? Calvin Harris. Well, Mr. Harris, if you are listening to this, well, we've got this young lady waiting right here for you. And if you could tell your fans one notable message, what would it be? Just go for your dreams. That's the main thing. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter if it's music, if it's something else, just go for your dreams. Because actually this is one of the messages that I like to talk about in general. As you can see, if you type in MJ, but then you have to add my name and surname so that you make sure that you find the right person, basically. So Mary Binikakis. You'll find me more uh, active in the future. Well, thank you very much for having this interview with us and we hope to hear much, much more from you in the future. Sure, I have yeah. more stuff coming up. Um, uh, I'll release an EP, so then you can hopefully give me a feedback. Yeah, <laughs> we'd love to. Thanks to all of you guys who are watching. Remember, you can find us on our Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Every Monday at 12 p.m. we'll be having these exclusive interviews and they'll be dropping on our YouTube. Please leave a like, subscribe and a comment down below. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you. In the mix. In the mix. It's the business. <laughs>